The 40 minutes it took to kill bin Laden and scoop his archives into garbage bags were all recorded by tiny helmet cameras worn by each of the 25 Navy SEALs. Officials reviewing those videos are reconstructing a more accurate version of what happened. The only firefight took place in the guest house, where one of bin Laden's couriers opened fire and was quickly gunned down. No one in the main building got off a shot or was even armed, although there were weapons nearby. The SEALs first saw bin Laden when he came out on the third floor landing. They fired but missed. He retreated to his bedroom. The first SEAL through the door grabbed bin Laden's daughters and pulled them aside. When the second SEAL entered, bin Laden's wife rushed at him, or perhaps was pushed forward by bin Laden. The SEAL shoved her aside and shot bin Laden in the chest. A third SEAL shot him in the head. The top Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee went to CIA headquarters today to view photos the SEALs took of bin Laden's body. There are probably about maybe four, five, or six photos. Uh, there, there were just a couple body shots. He was like in a, in a white undershirt and a, and a tan robe. The electronic files the SEALs carted away from bin Laden's compound contained, among many things, the names of terrorist operatives which until now were unknown to U.S. intelligence. The files also contain a small 12-page journal of bin Laden's handwritten notes about launching a major attack against the U.S. Don't use Arabs because they arouse too much suspicion. Go after trains. Time it to coincide with the 10th anniversary of 9-11. There are also messages to his senior lieutenants and to al-Qaeda affiliates, urging them not to waste time on small local operations and focus their efforts on the U.S. He kept all of that information and he kept all of, of the data, computers, hard drives, and this is what we're analyzing. And uh, it shows that his focus was clear, clearly the United States. U.S. officials cannot understand why bin Laden apparently left what amounts to the keys to his terrorist kingdom just lying around his compound in plain sight. None of it rigged for self-destruction. If he had just hidden his files, the SEALs would not have had enough time on the ground to find them. Katie? And David, are you surprised mm -hmm. that so much detail about such a secret mission <clears throat> has gotten out? Well, I'm not, but Defense Secretary Gates is. He said today that on the day of the mission, the president and his top advisors all agreed not to release any details. That lasted less than 24 hours. All right, David Martin, David, thank you.